All right, so this video lecture is going to go through just the basic steps to how to make an XY scatter graph using Google Sheets. The first thing that you're going to do is you're going to set up your uh, table in the spreadsheet. And when you're doing this, you are going to be having uh, your independent axis in column A. And so whatever you would title it there, whether it's time or distance or whatever, would be in your X axis. Um, and then you would put the numbers right below that. And then your dependent variable, or the one that you want on your Y axis, is going to be in column B. So that's what you would put in that second column. What you would do is to actually, once you have all your data in there, you'd want to make that graph. So you would highlight your entire data. So to do that, you would click up here and hold and drag so until the, all your data is uh, highlighted. And then you would click this button right here, which looks like a bar graph. And that's a button to insert the graph into the Excel spreadsheet. Once you do that, this screen will show up and it will have just some everyday recommendations of graphs that you could use. Um, we are going to do the XY scatter, so to be a little bit more specific, you could click on this button here, Chart Types, and you could pick the type of graph that you'd want to make. So if we click on that, you could actually scroll down here, and we're going to find that scatter graph that we want. And we're just going to pick this one here for the XY scatter. Um, now when you do that, the first row that we had in our... Um, in our table was the, the x, y, x and y axis. So we want to use those as our headers. Um, and the, the graph is actually going to insert that um, for us if we click this button right here. Um, if you accidentally put your things in uh, rows and columns, you could hit the switch uh, button here. But as long as you put it in the table as I showed you, everything should be set up pretty right. Um, so just hit the scatter button and then, once you have that, you'll see kind of an ex or an example of what your graph would look like, right? And then we want to go in and customize. So we're going to click this customization button so that we can go through and change the axis title uh, as well as the total title of the graph and add some things that will be useful. So if we do that, this window is going to pop up. And the first thing that you'd want to do is change the title for your graph and make that example. So I just put an example graph. You would put your title, whatever you are doing for that graph. And then as you scroll down, you're going to have different options that you can do over here. And you'll see what your graph would look like right, in the example here. So the next thing that you're going to do is you're going to want to make sure both your axes have both a title and units. Um, and you're just going to scroll down until you see axis. You, if you click this button here, you're going to have the option to get both horizontal and the vertical. Um, so that's how you would access both your X and Y axis. And in just then in here, you would type in what your axis is. And then in the parentheses, you include the units that you are doing. And there's other things that you could do in here um, that for the little bit more advanced. So as you get better with your graphs, you can kind of adjust other things on the graph. So the last thing we're going to do with the graph to be able to complete it is we wanted to make something that we call a trend line. And what that is is that's this line that shows up here, which is not going to connect the dots, but it's actually going to show the general trend for our data um, and create a line that is equal to the equation y equals mx plus b, which you guys have seen before. Um, and in doing that, that's going to be able to tell us something about the graph that we can use later. So in order to do that, what you're going to do is you're going to scroll all the way down here on the left-hand side, and you're going to go under trend line, and you're going to click that tab and select the linear option. And then we want to make sure that over here we have that equation, that y equals mx plus b equation. So to do that, under label, you're just going to select use equation, and then also include this r squared value. And we'll talk about what that is in class, but the r squared value basically talks about or shows you how well your trend line fits your data. Um, so obviously with this one, 0 0.99 fits really well. A perfect fit would be an r squared value equal to 1. When you're done then, all you're going to do is just select the insert button, and you'll have that graph actually pop up in your uh, document. And then um, we'll go from there as to how we want to treat the graph. When you click that, you will on to the spreadsheet. What we're going to do is um, I want you guys to actually just move it to its own sheet. So to do that, you're going to click on this little arrow here. This window will pop up, and you're going to just click on move to your own sheet. And what that's going to do is just when we print it off, it's going to give us uh, a little bit easier to print off the graph as well as it'll make it a little bit bigger for us to work with. So. When you click that, you will see 
All right, when you click that, you will see uh, the graph pop up at its own sheet. And then if you just go up to file and print, this print option will, will open up. And the one thing that I want you guys to notice is uh, we want to change it from landscape here to portrait. And the reason we do that is just because uh, it's going to fit along with all the other graphs. So that when we do print it off, we can just staple it and we don't have to flip papers over. Um, but we just want to print off the current sheet. We don't need to print off all the sheets. We don't need the data table because obviously you have that in the lab itself. And then fit to the width so it will make it the, actual, the biggest size possible for that.